So it just turned November here in Washington state and that means that is chum fishing season. Uh, since I've changed my YouTube channel from product reviews to fishing, I haven't actually been able to catch something. So hopefully this will be my first opportunity to catch a salmon for the YouTube channel. Uh, I'll be going to the upper parts of Green River rather than the lower parts of this since those are the most popular areas to catch chum salmon. Uh, that means any area above Highway 18. I'll quickly go over my setups that I'm going to be using for chum salmon fishing next and then I'll see you at the spot after that. So for my float setup here, I have my main line, which is like a 30 to 40 pound braid that goes to my bobber stop here. And then the bobber stop bead here. I have a half ounce uh, West Coast style uh, float, slip float. Then under the float, there's another bead and then a uh, regular clinch knot to an inline weight. And then for my inline weight, I have a 20 pound fluoro. Uh, you can go lighter than that for chum fishing, but I, that's just what I have. And then to my uh, jig, which I'll tip with some uh, raw shrimp when I get there. For my float rod, I have a nine foot medium action bait casting rod. Uh, then for the reel, I have a uh, Daiwa Coastal SV TW. Uh, I like using bait casting reels for uh, float setups because it's just easier to thumb out some extra line. For my chuching setup, I have a 40 pound uh, braided main line that is tied to about a 6 foot 20 pound fluorocarbon bumper and it's tied with a double uni knot. And at the end, I obviously just have a chuching jig which I can uh, change out to different colors but right now I'm using a half ounce. This uh, pink and black with a purple head. So we'll see how that one works. Now for my twitching rod, I have a seven foot nine medium action uh, spinning rod. Uh, the reel I'm using is a Daiwa uh, BG MQ in the size 3000. Look at that. Uh, the view of Mount Rainier is spectacular right now. Haven't seen it this clear in the fall in a long time. So this is the Metzler Park parking lot. We're here on Saturday, November 21st. Uh, so mid haul season. So this is kind of peak chum fishing season. I'm actually filming this in reverse because when I actually got here, it was completely dark. So can't film anything. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking too busy today compared to how it normally is. This place is usually like overflowing with cars. So. Yeah, if you're looking to come down, I think conditions even on the weekend are pretty okay. Uh, for the last few weeks, it's been pretty bad on the river because it's been blown out because of all the flooding. You have, uh, yeah, there's flood warnings for basically every river in the Pacific Northwest. So this is the first weekend since it's kind of calmed down. So unfortunately, for whatever reason, my microphone decided to cut out around about this time. But up ahead, you'll see that I get a bobber down while I'm actually not paying any attention to what's going on. But I, I noticed that it disappears after a second, after I look away. So right about here, I look away, then I look, oh, bobber down. I employed the reel till you feel and then set the hook. Uh, some people like to see the bobber down and just swing for the fences, but I noticed that ends up uh, whiffing a lot of the time. I decided to bank the fish since I forgot my net, so I'm just telling people to uh, what I'm about to do so they can move, hopefully, and everyone complied this time, so it was nice. Yeah, and I just fight it back to uh, shore. It was kind of a spawned out chum, so it wasn't fighting too hard.
Taking a good look at the fish, I can see that I hooked it right through the nose. So it was a really decent hook set. It was a pretty big chum, maybe like 10 to 12 pounds. So I was pretty happy with that. It was very dark though, but I decided to keep it so I could use it for bait in the future. As you can see, it's pretty busy. All right, we're headed out from Metzler Park. Been here about two and a half hours. Got one chum, mostly kept it because it's my first one, it's kind of dark, but I can use it for a crab bait or something like that but yeah if you ever been here it's usually very busy during fall season uh, it's a uh, maybe a tenth of a mile hike from the parking area and it's in the uh, south side of King County in Auburn <laughs> 